What's up, beautiful Leos? Trust your intuition for guiding you to this 2023 wild card reading where we are basically going to dive in and see a sneak preview of something that's going to happen to you in 2023. That's significant enough to do a reading about. So let's see what your guides want you to know. And as per usual, we're directing clarity into this whole reading accuracy. Only the clearest energy Leo needs to see. So let's get started with the Wheel of Fortune. What does Leo need to see? What's a wild card energy that Leo needs to see for 2023? Clarity. Temperance. Ooh, that was between the devil and temperance, but I would definitely say that's temperance energy. So this is Sagittarius energy. This could be something that's happening to you by the end of the year, late November through December. Uh, <clears throat> but I, I feel like there's something in harmony for you, Leo. Temperance is all about harmony, flow, balance, everything kind of working out, divine timing. So there's, it's almost like there's this really, really beautiful energy that's coming through. A very mellow, flowy, beautiful energy. Let's see more about that temperance energy. One more shuffle. Tell me more about that temperance energy. Thank you for Leo. So we have the Lawrence weave together the crown you deserve. I think this came out for cancer. So maybe it was Gemini. This is really the energy with the crown. I'm almost getting so Leo's naturally. I feel like you already wear a crown, right? Like the king of the jungle energy. You're represented by the lion. There's something with a crown where it garners respect from people, especially with that temperance energy. Is she wearing a crown? Yeah, she's wearing a crown on temperance. So there's definitely this royal energy that's coming to you. And I want to see more about what that is. This could even be as a result of, it's like you're getting respect as a result of dealing with a really horrible or annoying or very trying situation with thorns coming out. So give me a little bit more for Leo. By the way, temperance is number 14, and this is also 14. So something could happen to you on the 14th of any month this year. Keep in mind the 14th. February 14th is a holiday, Valentine's Day. And then of course we have the Nine of Cups coming out with a couple. So the Nine of Cups is all about satisfaction, magic happening, that's Pisces energy. Give me more for Leo. Okay, we have three coming out for you. I'm hearing and the one on the top. <clears throat> so we have Virgo energy with the Hermit. Queen of Wands, here's your Leo energy. This is Aries, Leo, Sag energy. Then we have the Nine of Wands in reverse, which is Sagittarius energy, and they're also telling me to take the next one. Three of Cups, Cancer energy. All right, Leo. So there's something very satisfying happening, very magical. And then we have the Hermit energy. So the Hermit is all about an enlightening moment, going within. And then we have the Queen of Wands. It's almost like you have this moment, like this very magical, enlightening moment where, and again, we have a crown here. You're, you're gaining perspective on something or more awareness on something, and it's making you more powerful the more aware you are. It's almost like a self-awareness. Then we have the Knight of Wands in reverse, which is almost like a fear of moving forward. So this could be the energy, because Knights are always moving forward with passion, especially the Knight of Wands. So in reverse, there's like a halted energy. It might be like a masks off energy, but it could have to do with a uh, friendship, right? Not, not necessarily like you're moving away from friends, but it's almost like this energy of there's something you have to conquer by yourself or you have, there's something you have to do on your own. I'm getting that too with the hermit. Let's see what that energy is for you, Leo. This could even just be like being more mindful of your time, right? Like you can't like spend all your time with, with friends. Like sometimes you gotta do things on your own. And I feel like you're being called more into uh, what you need to do personally. They keep telling me to grab that one and that one. So we have journey, 10. You're definitely, I feel like some of you are traveling. And then we have sad news, which is interesting. So sad news, I never, this card is interesting to me because I don't really necessarily like that energy. I feel like there's something about sad news that's going to redirect you in some way. That could be the Knight of Wands to the Three of Cups, the Knight of Wands in reverse. Like maybe, um, 
like you find out something that is gonna take more of your time take up more of your time than like the way you want to spend it like maybe you're looking forward to hanging out with friends right being around family friends other people but it's like oh I have to work on a project or do something on my own that's gonna take time away from that that could be the realization you could also be going somewhere on your own give me more for Leo what does Leo need to see before we grab some charms and astrodice Tell me more about what Leo needs to see. What does Leo need to see? Final card for Leo before we go into the charms. Adventure. You're definitely going somewhere, Leo. I feel like this self-awareness, this Queen of Wands energy, this journey energy, it's leading you into somewhere. And it makes sense with temperance, too. I feel like it's in divine timing. It's like divine flow. What does Leo need to see about where they're being led? Oh, we have the moon coming out on the hermit. So the moon is all about phases, intuition, our emotions, energy and motion. And it's all about the inner being. So I feel like, yeah, there's definitely like this inner awareness that's happening. Let's see what this awareness is. It might be that you have to travel in order to receive this, this gift of knowledge. So we have, uh, is this Uranus energy? This is Mercury energy. Mercury is a communicator, communication planet. And it rules over Virgo. So Virgo is all about inner communication, whereas Gemini, Gemini is more outer communication. So Virgo is also very analytical and very practical. It's almost like there, there's something you're communicating with that you're planning in the second house, having to do with value in some way. This could be a, a work trip. This could be a retreat. I feel like you're going somewhere um, that's making you more aware and more enlightened. This could even be something like you're going somewhere as a result of becoming more enlightened. I feel like there's a trip on the horizon that's either very enlightening or happening because you got enlightened and it's leading you into this beautiful new energy. I love that, Leo. So I hope this resonated. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you are interested in a personal reading, head on over to themoonempress.com. Otherwise, I will catch you in my final 2023 reading for this playlist or another moon phase reading.